the tip here, and this really is not going to come through on the YouTube video just because of quality loss, so you're going to have to try it yourself, is when you get to the end of your piece, say, and it's completed, we're just looking at a piece of art I did here, um, and you want to give it just a little more pop, like around the edges, a more defined, crisp look, instead of using Sharpen, which most people do under Filter Sharpen, you can actually duplicate your layer so that you have two copies of the exact same thing and then go under filter other high pass what this does is it's going to knock out all of your um, general tones to gray and then outline the very edges sort of like the find edges filter with a highlight of the color that is near that edge so as you increase the effect you can see this sort of technicolor thing that starts going on but if you just do a tiny little amount just enough to get sort of these halos around your um, artwork and then hit OK you'll now have this high pass layer and your normal layer and if you set the high pass layer to overlay what it'll do is allow that gray to disappear and allow the edges to really just come through and make the sides and um, strokes and lines in your piece of art just that more vibrant because they'll get just a little crispness and a vibrancy to them. Then all you have to do is just save this off as a different file and you have a crisper version of whatever it is you were working on. Um, if you really wanted to test this you could print out one of your normal ones and then print out of the, one of the ones with this effect on it maybe even with it turned down a little in opacity and you'll be able to tell the difference it's quite useful so uh, there you have it hope it was helpful